Hey guys, it's Tommy and I'm back. Huge mega pimple on my face. Um, the barber cut my hair mad short, so I had to take a hiatus for a while. I had to retreat to the cave because I blended in too easily with society and I didn't want, I just look like the white, you know, like the white dude emoji. Anyways, last video did really well. Thank you guys. There was a man on the last video who I wanted to highlight because he had an absolutely legendary comment. And he said, this guy dresses like how my friends and I used to dress in Japan six years ago. Blows my mind. America's late as always. This guy's definitely a Redditor. So shout out that guy. Anyways, I got some Ugg, the mid-rise ones. They're kind of trendy. I kind of wanted to reclaim what was stolen from me, what I never got to enjoy. Um, I got a couple new things, though, that I wanted to show off. I'm probably going to do that later in the video. But yeah, I went and got some coffee with Carlos. But I'm thinking that you get ready with me real quick. I'm going to clean this up and then pick a fit out. And then we're going to go get some coffee. And then I'll be back and I'll show you guys the new stuff I got. Anyways, let's pick the fit. Honestly... I think I'm gonna rock with this today. Pretty grungy, great vibes. Sticking this for the top. This is what I'm wearing right now, just white t-shirt and jeans. I, I I just wear these all the time. They're my silver tabs. They're just like a straight leg pant. Oh, a new pickup that I stole from my grandpa. It, I stole this from my grandpa when I was back in Minnesota and I've been wearing it all the time. It's just like an old Columbia jacket. It fits pretty cool though. Wait, I literally wore this the other day. Sneak peek, this is the tea I'm making. No way, bro, no way. I'm gonna wear my baggy jeans. I'm gonna have the baggy jeans with the top. Let me see if I can get a better, like, you. Yeah, I'm looking, they look very baggy. This is what we're rocking with. These pants, probably wear them with, like, the gats. And I don't know, I didn't know what this fit. Just gonna come back, talk about my own pickups more in depth, talk about other stuff, talk about the brand, but. <clears throat> Like if I would dress however I could, I would. If I had all the money in the world. I guess that makes sense now. Why Bari has like one bro that just like flies to Japan to find clothes. Dude, is that what stylists do? Just like fly all over to get clothes? I don't know. Not all stylists. I feel like everyone says that though. Like if they were, if they had all the money in the world, they'd just be wearing the craziest stuff. Yeah, you be wearing love. Probably wearing this Patagonia I've had for like three years. Oh. Fuck it. I'd probably wear like all rude and like Midnight Studios. For uh... We was in min we was in the lunchroom cup in Midnight Studios. Quote from Carson Craning. Literally the Midnight Arc logo dropped. Yo! And then I, I cupped the long sleeve and he cupped the long sleeve. And then he busted it down Rick Creech's Midnight Studios Arc logo in Ramones. In the Mall of America. I'm out. I'm honestly exposing this man right now. My fit was probably no better. I used to this one bro that lived in New York. His username was like Rick Owens. And he used to like fraud to like get Rick relief funds to buy Rick. Yeah. Shout out scamming the c relief funds for Rick. So yeah, I'm headed to um, Maru. It's in the arts district. It's a pretty good coffee shop. But yeah, that's as much of like a recommendation I can give. I really want a truck like this, like a nice old Ford or Chevy truck. That'd be dope. Two months. <laughs> One bunny hoodie. The custom jacket. You gotta put it on. <laughs> what? It's kind of nuts. Yeah. They like get all like the custom hair thing. By like furry artists. Wait, that has. <laughs> Gate kept. Alright, okay. the coffee was really good. Overall, 
solid 8 out of 10. Nothing to complain about. It's good. Challenge, watch out. Are my pants sagging too bad? No. I didn't put a belt on. Yeah, no or SCP-183. Hey guys, so it's time to go through the pickups. Currently on my lazy Sunday vibe. Just to fit. These my indoor slippers. Think of these slides. Yeah, let's uh, let's get into these new pickups, guys. This is the whole pile. This is like everything I've gotten. Want to show? I've done a lot of thrifting in the past month, kind of going to local thrift stores and stuff to see what they have. And usually, it's pretty pick through because the clothing market. You know, everyone's getting put on the clothes to fashion um, through TikTok. <laughs> But no, I feel like the secondhand market is quite messed up right now. I mean, you look anywhere and everything's like three times the price of what it should be. And you know, like as these prices increase, I'm not seeing my own wealth prosper as much as these resellers are. So I've stuck to thrifting to trying to find steals. Anyways, let's get into these pickups. Let's get into what I've gotten. First pickup I've got is this pickup from Issey Miyake. It is, I think, from the 90s. It's like a fully wool polo. I wish it fit a little bigger. It's kind of small, but it's. I like the color block on the front. It's kind of like a unique piece, so I thought I'd get it. Next up is the jacket. This is a Missoni knit, like, button-down bomber-type jacket. Originally, I thought it was just, like, navy, but it turns out it's got this weird multicolored pattern as well as a lot of cat hair. As you can tell, my allergies are literally killing me right now. I like to think I'm a man, but then my like main weakness is cat. It's pretty sad to see that I was nerfed in that way. It's a cool, it's a cool sweater. It's unique as well. And I like to wear it like over the Issey wool sweater. Next pickup is actually a scarf from my friend Angel. He runs this brand called Venus Trip. Um, and he gifted me this scarf. I really like it. I think he based it on like old Eddie scarves, but took a whole new turn and added like this multicolor, like bluish, violet, purple that Eddie would never do. And I think he just did it in a unique way. So if you guys want one like this, spam him on his brand page. Cause I don't know if he's going to release them. Let's get into a pair of shoes. I talked earlier that I got some Uggs, which I did. Um, I got the new mid rise, like super trendy. Um, I really fuck with the meme where it's like, yo, she got the Uggs on. The thing is, you can't really style them. You just have to rock them. Let's also get into, I got some Oakley shoes. I'm actually going to send it over to myself from a couple days ago when I got these off some guy on Depop. I had up some dude on Depop to buy his shoes. And he lives, or he's working in Beverly. So I'm going to drive there and pick up the shoes. Oh, I just ripped. You ain't a real man if you don't have holes in your socks. Just to fit to go pick up the um, Oakley shoes, low tops. I hope they're fire, because if they're not, I'm just gonna walk away. Act like he never saw me. I'm gonna buy a Chromart trucker off this guy in off road. <laughs> <laughs> he says it's real, bro. I don't know. The cup, the cup is just the cowbell action. Sometimes, bro, I forget I have accessories. Right, let's get it. You gotta record my awkward interaction with the with the guy. My yeah. Venmo's banned. Cash app. The meter maids. It's just the worst. Just the worst job on earth. Going to the drop location right now. Highly illegal ETA. Seven minutes. Using ways to go to the drop location. Don't do that. You gotta use an anonymous city of Big map. Boss Repo <laughs> XLI. <laughs> UPS, yeah. Hey. Connor store. What is it? Pain. Pain. <laughs> This guy is working a valet job and told me to meet him before he's working his valet job. He's gonna make a quick sale, make a quick buck. I'm feeling different on Rodeo today. I'm feeling different. Bro, we outside. I'm trying to get scouted for you. <laughs> it sound like, it's like a street. Honestly, I'm just gonna follow you. Follow your location. Yeah, just go to my location. Alright, bet. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's the money shot this is a uh, what is it like called like practical framing <laughs> no shoes 
Put a FaceTime cam and show him. <laughs> Where'd you find those? I just bought them off some guy. Where at? I have what? some crazy shoes coming. Yo, say what's up to Carlos. <laughs> I hate you too. Straight to foot. <laughs> I was getting out of the car. Do they look good with this outfit? Yeah, they work. We're kind of got the Ian fit on right now. Nah, dude, his old fists are so good. Yo, okay. cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where are we going, we mom? <laughs> but yeah, overall, great shoe. They're pretty cool, but the thing is, I've worn them for a couple days, and because of the age, they're already cracking. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. I do like the old Oakley shoes. They're just like crazy expensive. Turns out they're actually biking shoes and they're really uncomfortable to wear. So, you know, everything is, you get catfished and you deal with, you just gotta cope. That's all I can say. Next pickup, we just got some jorts. We got some like silver tab jean shorts. And then also got some gerbode jeans that I thrifted that have this really cool waist, double waist detail. I'm not, a, I don't wear jorts all that much, but when I do, those are the ones I like to wear. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I feel like jorts are definitely gonna come back this year. Like the really wide, like 10 inch leg opening jorts. Um, next, just some uh, like Wise for Men tank top. I thought this was black at first, but it's actually brown. Good landing piece. The only thing is I don't like the little, um, this, whatever the hell this detail is. So I'm probably gonna get it cropped. Next pickup I talked about in the last video, there's just some Kiko Asics. I got them from my friend Ronald. Shout out Ronald Proxy Services. He got me these and they're pretty cool. I love the color. They just remind me of like a really obnoxious running shoe, but I like it. I like how loud they are. I like that they stand out and they remind me of like a perfect running shoe. To go with that, I also got, um, I thrifted this like neon sweater. There's not much to say about that. It's good for, you know, if you're going on late night walks, you don't want to be hit by a fan. Also got this sweater. I don't know, it's from Devold. It's from like Scandinavia. I thrifted this for like five bucks. I just found it at some random store. But I think we're in a good medium range where I'm gonna show you guys what I've been working on. I'm actually working currently on two tees and some headbands, knitted headbands to release. And so right now, this is like the first sample I did of the tee. Um, and there's gonna be an updated sample where I fix uh, the collar and add some length because they're a bit too cropped. But the T says tornado weather. It's got a photo, of this really disgusting pillow on it. I'm also gonna release another black T through my brand at by Tommy Pointer. But I don't wanna talk too much about it because they aren't ready yet. Maybe in about a month, I think I'll be ready for release. I just wanted to tease them, show you guys the headbands and the tees and stay tuned on my instagram there'll be updates on there as well as on the channel so i'm excited to release that and hopefully you guys will like it i've been working on stuff sampling whatever for the past year just random things and never really been happy with any of it so it's a process but hopefully you guys will like these and there'll be more updates once they're finalized but the next pickup is this hoodie I got from some dude on down my street, like just down the road. It, it says slut on it. I never would personally go out of my way to buy a hoodie that says that. I was walking to pick up my friend from the train station and this man like walks up and I was looking at his clothes. He's like a street vendor selling clothes. And I was looking, he's like, look at this. And then just like, sh literally just like holds up the hoodie that says slut. He was like five bucks. And so I copped it and I thought it was funny. I think. I didn't really, I don't have a black hoodie. Also thrifted this Extreme Mountain Spirit is the brand. <laughs> Houndstooth pattern ski jacket. I think it's like a women's jacket. Fuck you, Artex. Next pickup is another thing I thrifted with this today from a brand called Colorado Clothing, which I think is just the sickest name, but it's just some like women's fleece. I like the fit of it. It's like really simple and it kind of gives me like Anne Wander vibes, or like Acne Studios. So I thought it was cool. Picked it up for like five bucks. I've got some new stuff coming in. So hopefully I'll make another video soon. Cam's coming to visit next week. Uh, hopefully we'll record with him. I've got some other stuff planned in the future. Yeah, stay tuned on the brand. Stay tuned with me. Hope you guys enjoyed those little pickups. I don't know if you got much inspo because I did not. So the last thing that I wanted to cover in this video was the new keyboard I got. 
All right, um, I got the Tech Bro fleece on. I'm ready to show you guys my keyboard, the new pickup. It's the new keyboard. It's a Kara. It's from Rama Works. It's like a 60% keyboard. So that means like 60% of an original keyboard size. Um, it's pretty cool. I had one that was like metal, like a milled brass and aluminum before this. It was a little more expensive. So I wanted to like downgrade, you know, get some a little cheaper. I don't really need that. You know, you got the RGB lights. You know, you got all the RGB lights. I don't really like it. I usually just go without the RGB lights, but you know, I'll do a type test. So you guys can hear how it sounds. It's like far. Don't get mad at my pecking. I never learned the right way, but anyways. So there's no rattling, so it's pretty good. But let's do a type test here real quick. Right? It's like really light. You can, I have an internal dampener I'm gonna put in, but it's a pretty cool keyboard, everyone. I hope you guys enjoy. And I'm gonna put uh, some photos of like my favorite keyboards, like vintage keyboards. Yeah, this is the new keyboard. It sounds pretty good, but that's all I wanted to show you guys. So let's get into the end of the video. If you're still here, thanks for making it to the end of the video. Um, make sure you guys get your daily sunlight, 10 minutes at least. Take your cold showers, eat your vitamins, um, take your turmeric, take your whatever, take your vitamin B, C, D, zinc, all that kind of stuff to feel good. And watch the Tommy Point of YouTube videos as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for sticking with me. I'm currently in the process of developing this brand, developing my identity, and <laughs> um, whatever. I'm just rambling, man. But thanks for, for thanks for watching. I always enjoy, you know, making these little videos for you guys. And I'm gonna start stepping up the process. Um, got a couple ideas in the making. You guys heard it earlier in the video. But yeah. Thanks for sticking along. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed me. Look into biohacking if you have time and it's important, it's key to staying happy. And this is this is a book I'm reading. I love Elliot Smith. He's a great artist and he named his album after either or, which is a book by Soren Kierkegaard. And this is the book I'm reading. So if you guys wanna know, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out, love. Love you guys, peace. I think I'm feeling it now just like you